Okay, so welcome for our today's lesson. We will be discussing the last two properties for, I mean, not not really last two, but for the course, no? Yung last two topics natin, which is integration of Laplace transforms, no? First, let's discuss integration in time domain. Okay, so if we have, and we, if we have the integral of f of t dt, Uh, from 0 to t. So, that is, kapag ginuha natin yung Laplace transform, ang makukuha natin is f of s over s. No? So, yun yung pinaka-formula natin for the integration in time domain. And this property actually is used in solving integral differential equations. No? Excuse me. As you can see, uh, what are integral differential equations? These are equations that contains the derivative and the integral of the, of the fun of a function at the same time. No, kasi di ba yung usual natin na ano, it's either it's only a plain integral or just the differential equation, di ba? So, dito, combination siya, integral differential equation. Okay, so, pinapasolve sa atin dito, no? Uh, we have the first derivative of uh, yt plus 4y of t uh, plus 5 multiplied to the integral of y of t dt from 0 to t is equal to t with the initial value uh, initial value of 1. Y, y of 0 is equal to 1. Okay? So, sige. So, let's solve. Oops. Ayan. So, let's get the Laplace transform first. Then, later, ibabalik natin siya. No? mag inverse Laplace tayo later. So, what is the Laplace transform of y of t? Uh, first derivative of y of t. So, we have sy, sy of s plus y of 0. Diba? Plus 4. The derivative, ah, the Laplace transform of y of t is y of s plus 5. Tapos, eto, no? Ah, sorry, nawala yung t. Ayan, singit ko na lang. Ayan. So, so, the Laplace transform, again, ano? So, integration, uh, y of t dt from 0 to t is uh, y of s over s. Ayan. Is equal to the Laplace transform of t is 1 over s squared. No? Ayan. Okay. So, lahat ng may y of s, no? Iwan dito. Lahat ng walang y of s sa kabila. So, this y of 0 with our initial, uh, tawag dito, initial value, this is equivalent to 1. Diba? So, we have, ah, sorry, this is not plus. This is minus. Ayan. So, we have s, y of s, sorry. So, we have s, y of s, minus 1, plus 4y of s, plus 5, uh, y of s over s, is equal to 1 over s squared. So, multiply ko na buo, no? With s, para matanggal to, yung nasa baba. So, we have s squared y of s. Minus s plus 4s y of s plus 5y of s is equal to 1 over s. No, kasi makakancel yan eh. Ayan. Okay? So, therefore, we have we have I-factor out ko lang lahat ng y of s. Tapos, yung mga walang y of s, lilipat natin sa kabila. s squared plus 4s plus 5. This is equal to 1 over s. Plus s. No? Ayan. Ganyan siya. Tapos, divide ko lang both sides by... s squared plus 4s plus 5. No, para ma-cancel yun nasa itaas. Ito. Ayan. So, therefore, we have y of s 
is equal to, ito pag samahin ko na lang, that is 1 plus S squared, di ba? Over S times S squared plus 4S plus 5. Ayan. Okay, so this is our uh, frequency domain function. no? So, i-decompose muna natin before we proceed with the inverse Laplace transform kasi hindi natin siya masosolve ng walang anang hindi natin na i-decompose. So, we have A. So, we have here A is equal to I mean, uh, the function is equal to A over S plus B S plus C plus B S plus, uh, B S plus C over S squared plus 4 S plus 5. Ayan. Okay. So, let's solve for A, no? So, we have A. Lalagay tayo ng S dito para makancel. No? So, we have A is equal to 1 plus S squared all over S squared plus 4S plus 5. Where S is equal to 0. So, lahat ng may S makakancel na. ba? So, therefore, A is equal to 1 over 5. No? So, yan. Next. So, let's solve for B, S plus C. No? So, paano natin gagawin yun? Uh, using ano na lang, same degree ng polynomial na lang, ipaplug ko na lang tong 1 over 5 doon sa A natin. No? So, we have 1 plus S squared over S times S squared plus 4S plus 5 is equal to 1 over 5 times 1 over S plus B S plus C over S squared plus 4S plus 5. No? Ayan. Tapos, imumultiply yung denominator, no? So, we will have 1 plus S squared is equal to 1 over 5 times S squared plus 4S plus 5 plus S times BS plus C. Simplify. No, para makuha natin yung mga same degree polynomial. So, we will have 1 plus S squared is equal to 1 over 5S squared plus 4 over 5 uh, 4 over 5 s plus 1 plus uh, b s squared no plus c yan tapos at s squared no since ang ang b natin is nasa s squared no yan since ang b natin ay nasa s squared so what we can do is 1 is equal to lahat ng mga numerical coefficient ng s squared so, that is 1 over 5 plus B. Hence, B is equal to, lipat mo lang sa kabila, that is 1 minus 1 over 5. Diba? So, that is negative 4 over 5. Ah, sorry, 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Not negative, no? Positive. Ayan. Next. So, Yung, ah, sorry, may S pa tayo, may S pa tayo kay C. So, ngayon naman, lahat ng S, no? At S, lahat ng numerical coefficient ng S. So, dito wala, we have 0, is equal to 4 over 5 plus C. Hence, C is equal to negative 4 over 5. Now, transpose mo lang sa kabila. Okay, so we have A, B, and C. So, we can uh, have our Y of S. Before we do the inverse Laplace transform. So, we have uh, 1 over 5 times 1 over S. I suggest kapag ganito na may nakikita na kayong uh, inverse Laplace, Laplace ready na function, huwag nyo nang i-combine sa iba na hindi naman 
uh, kailangan no para at least nakikita niyo na agad remember linearity property lahat na naka-multiply doon sa I'm mean, lahat ng constant na naka-multiply doon sa f of t natin will just go out of the Laplace transform no so we have plus bs plus c so that is 4 over 5 minus uh, 4 over 5s minus 4 over 5 all over s squared ano yung ano natin s squared plus 4s plus 5 ayan okay so we have 1 over 5 times 1 over s Plus factor out kin 4 over 5. So we have 4 over 5 times s minus 1 over factors na to nung s squared plus 4s plus 5. Diba? This is factorable. This is uh, 1 uh, uh, ah yeah. And this is factorable. Uh, we can do is Paghiwalayin natin no yung paghiwalayin natin yung 5 into 4 plus 1 para maging perfect square trinomial, di ba? Then mapafactor natin siya. So we have s plus 2 quantity squared. So yun yung s squared plus 4 s plus 4 plus 1 squared. Yun yung 1, di ba? So, we have here s minus 1 over s plus 2 quantity squared plus 1 squared, no? For our, ano, uh, second term. Now, we will do the frequency shift, no? Para ma-change natin from yung s plus 2 kasi ito yung, yung baba. No, itong baba. Hindi, wala tayo, di ba? Wala tayo formula for that. We need to change this to s. So, para mangyari yon we need to do the frequency shift. So, from s, s plus 2. Remember, we have S minus 1 here. So, kailangan natin ng S plus 3 na ipapalit dun sa S, sa S minus 1. Sir, bakit S plus 3? Again, ano, yung sum nung, ano, nung mga const, uh, constants na naka-add dun sa S from both left and right, pag pinag-add mo sila, dapat equal. So, since this is 0, no, uh, S plus 0 to, 0 plus 2 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. No? So, ibig sabihin, yung s minus 1 magiging s plus 3. Yung nasa baba, magiging s na lang siya. So, we have one over 5 times 1 over s plus 4 over 5. No? So, this will become s plus 3 over s squared plus 1 squared, no? Shifted s2, s plus 2. Hindi na natin kailangan yung nasa taas, no? Kasi ito lang naman yung original natin. Yung kanina, ito, uh, just for s minus 1 na ma-prove lang natin. Okay? So, we have One over five times one over s plus four over five times s over s squared plus one squared plus three over s squared plus one squared no frequency shifted for s two s plus two ba yeah then Pwede na natin kunin yung kanyang inverse Laplace. So, we have y of t is equal to 1 over 5. The Laplace transform of 1 over s is 1. no? So, plus 4 over 5. We have e raised to negative 2t here. No, mula dun sa s plus 2. So, ilagay ko na. e raised to negative 2t. Multiplied to ito. Ano yung Laplace, inverse Laplace transform ng s over s squared plus 1? Diba? That is cosine t. Plus 3. 
no? Since one naman yun nasa nyo may rator kasama nun T, uh, pwede na natin i-inverse la plus yun. So, we have uh, S squared plus 1, uh, I mean 1 over S squared plus 1, the inverse la plus transform is sine T. Ayan. Tapos, pag-combine na lang natin, no? Since they have the same denominator. So, therefore, the function, the inverse Laplace transform, I mean, the solution to the integral differential is, the equation is 1 over 5, ah, sorry, not 1 over 5, but rather 1 plus 4e raised to negative 2t multiplied to cos t plus 3 sine t, no, plus 3 sine t, all over 5. Ayan. So, this is the solution to the integral differential equation. Okay? So, I hope you guys understood, no? Uh, you can practice, no? Uh, I'll try to look for more integral differential equations. Ayan. Pero, this is the basic, uh, I mean, the, con the core concept behind. No? So, thank you for listening. Uh, I'll see you on the next and the last topic for the course no, of the Laplace trans basic Laplace transforms in uh, integration in frequency domain. Thank you and God bless.